Hello once again. Hey, it's Dan here in Virginia. I'm down in the shop here with the uh, Twin Otter. Thought I'd give you a little update. <clears throat> a few weeks ago, I decided that uh, I was going to put the floats on the Twin Otter and just leave them on there. So I'd have a dedicated float plane instead of trying to switch them back and forth, which is a pain in the butt. So anyway, I swapped them all out. I got her all rigged up. And yesterday, I had the opportunity to take it out to a local regional park as a little lake where I've flown the uh, mall before and I was going to fly it so I got her all hooked up took off and lo and behold it was um, it was 50 degrees here <laughs> pretty nice warm day and the water was nice and flat no wind but there was ice on the lake fortunately there was a cove a little cove where the water had melted and then, so I get out there so ah, I can I can take off in this cove, no problem. So I did, took off, out, shot out over the <clears throat> the uh, glassy water towards the ice, and, and sure enough, all these float planes are about the same. When you get at a certain speed, they just break that stiction between the floats and the water, and boom, up they come. I didn't use any flaps, nothing. So <clears throat> as soon as it got up, though, you have to get ready to push the nose back down. And so now it's going out over the ice. So it goes out over the ice, and I'm going, whoa, I'm getting too far away. I better turn around. So I turn around, come back, and <clears throat> come into the cove, and I make a turn. I go back out over the ice, and I was going to come in and, and uh, try landing. Well, I forgot how unforgiving this plane is. You've got to keep this plane moving. This wing is not very thick this way. The cord of the wing from here to here, this wing doesn't have much lift. So if you don't keep the speed up and you make a turn which is too tight, it will just lose lift on the inside wing and it'll just tumble right into the water or ground. So that's what happened to me. It smacked right in the water, hit on this float here. I mean, it made a cracking sound. So I don't know, it didn't sink. It popped back, it bobbed back up and somehow the motors worked intermittently and I got it back to shore because the wind was blowing towards me. And it wasn't blowing very hard. I'd have been there three hours waiting for it to float back. But they got the motors running enough to get it back and got it home. So anyway, when you look inside it, you can see here's my power wire. It broke the brackets, these mounting brackets. This thing right here is the mounting bracket. There's a, there's for the floats. It also holds the gear on. There's about five of these, I guess. But this one, it broke, it cracked, and I have glued it. You can see a little bit of glue on the inside of that with epoxy. So I could use that one again. The other one broke completely off. So I looked down inside, and I said, well, I can either get some little piece of plywood and glue them up and cut them and drill them and shape them and file them, or I can call my son, who has a, one of these high-tech 3D printers, and I bet he can print them up for me. So I went over to see him yesterday, I took this thing here, I says, can you make me four or five of those? And he says, yeah, I can do that. So away he did, and uh, he got it set up, he has to mic them, measure them, you know, he has to enter it in a special program. He's a real smart guy, he's not an engineer by profession, but I don't know, he may, may be in his second career. Anyway, he drew this all up, put it in a computer. And it's out there on Thing Thingiverse. I've never been on Thingiverse, but I'm sure some of you guys have. If you go out to Thingiverse, you will see a program for this. This is the bracket that he drew up and 3D printed. Put a little groove in the bottom. It looks kind of like crystal clear, but anyway, he made some extra ones. And this is just not cheap plastic. He used some sort of industrial strength plastic and material. So I got home and here they are. You can see down in the fuselage, they fit right in, boom, you just screw them in. A little corner sort of bumps into the foam, but you could just nick that out with a razor blade. I didn't bother, just put it in there and screw it down. And so now she's in. The one thing I'm gonna do though, if I don't think you can see through the video, but the, right here, the water comes right up, right up through the floats. I mean, I'm gonna get some silicone and I'm going to put it all down on this side and then on this side over here I've got to fill this in a little bit and I've got a little platform that goes down in there like this and I'll glue this in 
and then I'll put the battery back in put some velcro on it well this isn't working out too good but all you can see is my fat hands but this will go down inside like so I'll have to cut it go down between those blocks press glue it down in there a little bit and then I put velcro on it and I'll be back in business so anyway if you've got the same kind of airplane you cannot buy these brackets you have to buy a whole set of floats or a whole set of wheels or something like that you can't just buy the little brackets so but if you go out on Thingiverse and go, shoot, uh, <clears throat> search this airplane you'll see these brackets are out there and there's a download my son's put out there with the pictures and everything on their twin otter Thingiverse twin otter and you can print these up yourself and be back in business so anyway hope this helps and I hope I learn to fly this thing pretty soon I don't want to keep crashing it this you can't make sharp turns with this thing it just you either got to be real confident maybe I'm just not confident of I don't keep the speed up anyway it's stalled out and live and learn I haven't crashed in a while but I feel fortunate to get it back it did ingest enough water to ruin my this thing here this gyro it was the gyro I kept down inside there and uh, it just waterlogged it and that was the end of it so anyway I hope this helps uh, if you have the same problem and you can go out there on Thingiverse, look this up, and print yourself some brackets for your plane. So fly safely out here.